Hey y'all, this is Beth Weingart with Beth Weingart Realty and I'm here at 10085 84th Street in Seminole. We're looking at a 3-2 that has recently been remodeled. Looks like it's been freshly painted. Nice garage door, two car garage. Nicely landscaped. Here's the neighbors. All right, let's go in and check it out. Got some palm trees. There's a good sized front porch. That's your view, and here's the other side of the porch. Okay, so we walk in. This door looks like it's been painted. And these are windows here that were painted over the windows. So you can see the scratching. So you will enter in. There's new laminate wood. This house has been remodeled. We have your living room area that overlooks the pool. We have the kitchen that looks like it's been updated. Eat-in kitchen, a little breakfast nook area there. Stainless steel appliances. I have my helpers here today. Hi. Annabelle and Audrey. <laughs> my daughter and her cousin. School's almost back in session, not quite yet. So through this door, in the kitchen is the garage. I'll open it a little bit for you. Give some light. This is a two-car garage. And this door leads to the backyard. So we have the hot water heater and a good size laundry area. There's your washer dryer hookups. Attic access. Lock construction. Through the door in the garage, you have access to the backyard. And I believe this would be the only access if you had a boat. You'd probably have to expand this gate to open <clears throat> all the way up. It would not fit a large boat. It would fit a John boat or a smaller size boat though. So the sliding glass door, I would recommend updating. Looks pretty old. It works well though. The doors slide easily, so that's good. Here's your pool area. Like there's a hole in the grass to find out what that's about so this is actually wider you could probably make this a, this gate open all the way and get a larger boat in I 
I know a great pool guy if you need recommendations. There's a shed out back. Palm trees. Do you have your air conditioner out here? show you the floor, how it's laminate. Go to the master, just off the living room. Good size master, two windows that overlook the backyard and pool area. Closet space. In the bathroom, looks like it was partially redone. Have a mirror, medicine cabinet, toilet looks new, but the shower enclosure definitely looks like it needs some help. Old windows in here as well. Let's go see the other two rooms. Oh, and I'll show you the closet. Oh, she scared me. <laughs> My girls are playing hide and seek. They scared me. Okay. Actually really love that <laughs> but the bath you know the rest of the bathroom could be updated the tile is not bad though the tile looks pretty clean that might actually be new as well just old fixtures all right so we have a closet here linen closet Good size. And then we have the second and third bathroom, so this or bedroom, so this is a split floor plan. This room also has two windows and a closet. Over here we have the third bedroom. Looks about the same size. Again, two windows. This window faces the front of the house in the street. In your closet. I'm gonna try and move back so you can get an idea how big this room is. Of course, we can get measurements for you. So a few things I'd like to point out that I noticed. Along the baseboards, you can see the floor does feel very solid and of course an inspection would show anything up. But along the baseboards, you can see that there's some separation throughout the house. I don't feel it when I walk. It doesn't feel like it's bubbled up. However, it's something to keep in mind. Some people might find that hard, hard to live with, you know. I feel like if you had rugs down or furniture, you wouldn't notice it as much. But it is noticeable for me right now. So I just wanted to show you. All right, if you have any questions, please let me know. My number is 727-877-0490. Have a great one, y'all.